Hello, welcome to the third in the series on integrating Structures Office with Excel. And in this portion of the tutorial, we're going to talk about how do we get data extracted from Excel and use them and use that data in our in our scripts, and then uh, how do we get results from Structures Office back into our spreadsheets? So first off, we're going to talk about just a few, few minutes about how to lay out a user interface in Excel, if you've never done that before. And then we're going to talk about how do we get a value from the spreadsheet using Visual Basic for applications. And then when we have that value, how do we parameterize our scripts? And then how do we execute a Structures Office computation? And then finally, once we've uh, executed a, a computation in Structures Office, how do we get a result out and put it back into our spreadsheet? So let's get started. So here we are. I've taken the, uh, the section creation uh, spreadsheet we created in, in part two and just kind of rearranged things a little bit and uh, added a title at the top, added a section where we're going to input our inputs to this angle, the horizontal flange length, vertical flange length, and thickness. And we'll put a, type in our values here. We're going to do a geometric section properties calculation and store all our values in this column here, in this portion of the spreadsheet. Uh, I change, I moved this doc, the Structures Office window around a little bit. You can just grab and resize. And I just, well, let me just talk a little bit about how you format uh, fonts and color cells. It's very easy. Um, I had grabbed these 16 cells here for my title and I did a right click and format and I said underneath alignment I wanted to merge those into one cell and I wanted to put my text centered in that group of 16 or was 16 now it's just one cell I set my fill color to black I chose a font of this bold 48 and a color of white. So let's well, let's walk through the code here a little bit. So I did right click, view code. So here's where we're going to pull values out of the spreadsheet. These three lines of code right here. So we're going to for the active sheet, the sheet that we're on right now, of the, all those cells, I want the one in column 5, row 2. So I'm going to get my horizontal flange length from row 5, column 2, and set it to the horizontal flange length up here, which I dimensioned as a double. Same for vertical flange length, and the thickness was also dimensioned as a double. So as the script runs through, it pulls these values out, sets these variables, and now I use them to create my rectangle. So this rectangle is laid out so that the length goes from 0 to 10, that's my horizontal flange length, and then my thickness. The second rectangle, I set my length, I oriented it so that the length is this distance here, so I use the thickness, and the vertical flange length since I want to go from this point up here down to this bottom point, I need to get extract, subtract that thickness. So I take the vertical flange length, I subtract the thickness for the height of that rectangle. And then I need to position it. Since I'm going to be changing the thickness, I use the x as 0 and y as the thickness. So that's this point here x is 0, y is the thickness. Fillet is similar. I just need, it's the same 
radius, I'm leaving that as 1 and the sweep is 90. But I need an x of the thickness over this distance and a y of the thickness of that bottom rectangle. So that's why thickness and thickness are here. Then I added a disk with a radius of the same thickness as the bottom flange. And I need an x value of horizontal flange length. That's going to be 10 in this case. So I'll you 10. Thickness is up 1. And now I can change these values over here to parameterize that section. Once that's done, you notice I'm here I'm defining a range. A range is a block of cells. And I'm defining my range to start at row 14, column 2, and run on down to row 37, column 2. I'm defining a block of just this column. And then I can reference uh, cells relative to that range. So then I call a routine called section properties. I pass in my uh, the stru structures off this object and that range of cells that I defined right here. And that's defined right below down here. First thing I do is I pass in that structures off this object. I call the compute section properties, the geometric section properties on that section. And then now here's R as a range. So the first cell, the top cell, row 1. Notice it's not the same as a spreadsheet. It's relative to the range. So I'm putting my all of the 24 values from the geometric section properties all relative that, to that block. So 1, 2, 3. They're all going in here. There's only one column, so all the values here are 1. And then here I'm saying, I want from my structures office object, I call get value. And then this is the, this is a, a variable that comes from the type library. And I'm saying, give me the center, the x coordinate of the center of gravity of that section we got from this computation. So let's fire it up, and you can watch it. That helps. So get out of design mode. Click on my create section. I go through the portion here of finding my structures off this object. I hit this green arrow to continue. I'm down here to my, I have my structures off this object. I'm going to clear it out, wipe out everything that was in there. Now I want to get my values out of that spreadsheet. Get my horizontal flange length, vertical thick, flange length, and thickness. So that's 10, 10. I'm just moving the cursor over that variable, and it shows me what they are. Then I create a my horizontal flange using the horizontal flange length and thickness. There it is. And then I do the next for the vertical flange length. But you notice because I'm creating it, I'm, my Vertical flange length is distance from here to here. I subtract that thickness. So it's vertical flange length minus thickness to build up that rectangle. Then I add a fillet. Radius 1. Sweep 90. So regardless of what the thickness is, that flange, this fillet will always be the same. And I need an X and Y. So that's this point right here. It's going to be, depend on the thickness of the bottom rectangle and the thickness of the upper rectangle. So that's 1, 1. And then add a disk. I want that to have a radius of 1. My x coordinate is over here at this point, And my thickness is going to be the y coordinate is the thickness. So that done. I add my disk, create the union. Now I'm going through and I'm saying, OK, Here's my range of cells. I define that a variable as a range. And now I'm passing it into the section properties calculation. And I compute section properties. OK, now you see my, that it found this. This is the center of gravity, and these are the principal axes. So now I'm pulling out values. And to do that, I 
call the section structures office object get value get the area put it in the first row first column of my range and you'll see these values will update as I go all the way on down so I'm going to say continue and it goes all the way down through the script now let's change the numbers let's make this say 8 and 12 and create the section again and we go through the same procedure clear out what I did before get my values out 8, 12, and 1. And I'll let it run on it through. It built the section up. Now I'm going to go through, recompute the section properties, and now I'm extracting the values. You see the numbers change as I move on down. So, and uh, let it go on through, and let's do another one. Let's make it six, six, and one point two, and we go on down. We clear it. Do the computations. And you'll see the values change. And always make sure that you don't just stop, but you let it run on through. Because if you ever find that, and you can't, if you find you're clicking on buttons and nothing is happening, check and make sure that you're not at a breakpoint in your script. So that's it. Um, That's it to extracting values out of, ex out of the spreadsheet and driving uh, structures office. One thing I wanted to mention that if when you're parameterizing sections, make sure to make use of IntelliSense. So if I wanted to recall the, what my uh, arguments were for a rectangle, I type cross section dot add rectangle and it will show me the arguments. The first argument is the name, then the length and width, then the x and y locations of whichever point on that shape I chose as the origin, then which point on that shape specifies the direction vector, the vector from origin to the uh, direction point, then how much that direction vector gets rotated, that will rotate the, the shape, and then the sign, whether it's positive or negative. So to summarize, we use the active sheet cells routine to pull values from the spreadsheet. Active sheet is the one you're currently on. Of all the cells, we gave a row and column number and then got a value out of that cell to use in the parameterization of the script. All the computations that you do in Structures Office are available through VBA. So anything you see Structures Office doing, you can include in your Excel spreadsheet. And also worth mentioning is the use of ranges, where we defined a block of cells, which was just one column wide in our case. And we do that just so that if you ever wanted to move results around, you don't have to change your code. You can just change these upper left, lower right cells, and your code uh, is on, you don't have to modify it. So that's it for, for uh, part three. Thanks for listening.